Hey guys, Sky here. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome to my bedroom. I'm not going to show that much because it is a bit of a mess, but I want to show you guys this beautiful picture of the beautiful Ferrari 488 Pista La Ferrari. Or, not La Ferrari, what am I talking about? But I just wanted to show you the 488 Pizza, pi Pizza, Pista Speciale Aperta. I can't talk today for whatever reason. Yeah, it's just a fun little picture I got. But anyway, this video, I am finally going to go over the specs of my new computer. I know this video is long overdue, but so the case, we have the AeroCool RGB Cylon PC case. And for the RAM, I actually have a V color, 16 gigabyte RAM, it's RGB. 3200 megahertz. It's really good. It looks really cool. After I'm going over all this stuff, I'll go up so you guys can see it. Your ultimate memory solution. Yeah. So that's the RAM that I've got in it. And obviously, I need the Windows 10 Home, so I got that there. And then the motherboard. Or Motherboard? Where am I getting motherboard from? The brains behind the operation. I've got the AMD Ryzen 7 2700X. That's where it was. But, yeah. If you look here on the top, 8 core 16 thread processor, 4.3 gigahertz max boost, or 3.7 gigahertz base, which, keeping it base because. I don't need to boost it. And then this is just what the hard drive came in. It's just simple regular box. And then this I don't actually remember what this was. It was something. But here is the box for the graphics card that I put in it. It's the F XFX AMD Radon. RX 588GB, and this is the Black Edition, HDR Ready, Radon VR Ready Premium, MD FreeSync 2 technology, DirectX, Fine, FET, or FinFET, I don't know, and then the output, just that, and HDMI, Dual Link, that's kind of what it looks like, as you can see, it's got like carbon fiber, on it, which is really cool, because, well, as you guys probably know, or should know, is that I love carbon fiber. Okay. But in this box, I believe, yes, I do. I've got some more stuff in here. Got this box. So this was the box for the power supply. I went with the Rosewill Arc 550 power supply. So it's not a fully modular one, but it works very, very well. Yeah, it's the 80 plus bronze, three year warranty. Here's what it kind of looks like. And obviously ARC 550, 550 watts. But 80 plus bronze certified. Continuous output 550, 550 watt with crossfire and SLI support. And that's the box that it came in. Good old rose wheel. Let me look over here on the back. Got all the connection stuff. Yep. There's everything that came in the box. There's the product features, package contents. But that was the power supply. I'm going to have to reorganize all these boxes again. But finally the box that the motherboard came in. So I went for the Oris B450 Oris Pro Wi-Fi. So gaming motherboard socket AM4. So I got this to put the good old 2700X in. And this motherboard, it's so good. Just, like, look at that. Let's move that so that 
There's not sunlight hitting it. But look at that. I mean, like, all the LEDs and everything. Like, all along there. It's just such a good board. And all this stuff put together is such a great computer. So with that being said, let's head up and I'll show you guys my setup. But real quick, please do subscribe, leave a like on this video, and also check out all my other videos. With that being said, I'm going to keep the phone pointed at the floor. Also, happy Easter. I am recording this on Easter for Thursday original. Oh, yeah. Let's head on up the stairs. There's where the German Shepherd eats. And then obviously, got the poodle, Carmichael, and then yes, we have this pit bull, Mr. Sarge over here, hi Sarge, and then we got the old man, Mr. Ace, Ace the German Shepherd, the olden. Obviously you guys might recognize this room, because well... This is from the last vlog thing I did, where I hid all the eggs. I will say it went very well. My little brother did manage to find all of them. Let's wake up the good old-fashioned computer, and let's sit down. Ah. So right now, I've got the Acer monitor. This monitor is kind of old. I'm going to be getting a new one soon. And then this will become my secondary, but we got, I'm out of breath, so, we've got the good old fashioned Corsair keyboard with the RGB, nice little rest, rest, just look at that texture, and the buttons just, I find them satisfying, satisfying, satisfying to push sometimes. Got the number pad and got all the buttons, including six programmable buttons, which none of them are actually programmed right now. And then moving on, we got the coarse air mouse, which if you push this button, it can change colors. Now red is bad. It's like if I go back up to the screen, you see the mouse it moves around like that. Then if I go over to red. Like, I'm still moving it the exact same, and then it's just, woo, and then it's back to red, so the red is not good, whoa, not really focusing there, but there's the mouse, we've got the Corsair mouse pad, and then we actually obviously have the mic. Now this, actually, I didn't show you guys the box for this. I've had the this microphone for a while now. It is a new air microphone. But here's the headset. We've got that coarse air gaming headset. I'm planning to get a different headset, but as you can see, you just go up. Oh yeah. So with that right there black box that just barely came into view. Focus, that is the old computer that I use. That is the Alienware that my dad gave me that basically died on me right out of the box. Like a bag. But here is the new one. So obviously, got the ORS badge, the AMD Ryzen 7 badge, which is not straight, which bugs me. Got Aero Cool. And we've got this cool, like, design right down there and we follow this LED strip all the way goes all the way up to the top of the case obviously it's changing colors then up here what we've got we have the LED buttons very dusty up here and we've got the power button there's where the headset goes I could have a microphone there but I just have the mic plugged into the back but then I've got USBs and that thing. 
and those, I'm not really sure. Actually, that button's telling me that I have power just in case I can't look in and see. Oh, yep, everything's working. Like, there's the graphics card. You can see XFX. There's the little power supply right down there. So as you can see, it's the Rosewheel Arc 550. There is our RAM. The V color. You can see it, like, changing colors. There's the processor with its cooler on it. That blue little light just lets me know that, yeah, the graphics card is on and working. Actually, right there, you can kind of see a bit of carbon fiber. But then, like, down here, down below, let's see, there we go. You can see the Aura symbol right there that's changing colors. And the funny thing is, well, there's also Aura's up there. But the LED for the Aura's right there, the color of the cooler, and the symbol right there are all synced to be at the same color. The RAM just kind of does its own thing. It's the RAM, you know? Then up here on top, we've got just like a man magnetic dust filter, which seems to be doing its job quite well. And that's a lot of dust. Oh, yep. And then just have some room for well, more stuff in the future, I guess. Fortunately, I do have just the one fan. Thinking about getting another fan soon-ish. But for now, that fan is doing the job perfectly. But that's basically the computer setup. I know it's taken a while to get this video up and going. And now that I know how well the audio and video looks just on my phone, maybe expect some more videos with the phone. I don't know. I guess I should have been filming like that. That's probably better for you guys, right? Yeah. That might be better? I don't know. One of the two. I'll just finish off the video like this. But obviously, like I said, there's the headset. Got the Xbox. Have my Garmin watch right there. Got that good old-fashioned camo controller with the Control Freak thumbstick extender Madu Hickers. Mountain Dew Voltage, obviously. Always have to have a Mountain Dew Voltage, or really just any Mountain Dew, but Voltage. Oh, yeah. But then I also have this sign, which, as you can see, it's actually Sky the Man. 89, but the sky the man is made out of car parts. How cool is that? That's so cool, isn't it? Just look at that. And there's the Mustang clock that goes off in like every single video of mine. And then here, I've actually got an R2-D2. No, no, it's face. <laughs> but we've got R2-D2 picture right there. And that's basically my setup. Oh yeah, here's the chair, the moto racer, nice squishy pillow. And then like up here, it's got quite a lot of cushioning. If I could find my finger. And that armrest is kind of wearing out, but this one, uh, it's still wearing out. But just look at that. Ooh. And like, even right here, there's still quite a bit of cushioning left in it. I mean, just look at how thick that is. I mean, just, it's like right there. And look at all that give right there. <sighs> but anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like. There's Ace yet again. But... Please be sure to subscribe, leave a like on this video, and also browse my channel, find other videos that I've got, go ahead, check them out, because I think you will enjoy them, and many others that I have, but as I am 
recording this on Easter Day. I hope you have all had a great, fantastic Easter, even though this is not going up on Easter. I hope that it was still good for you nonetheless. But hopefully you did enjoy. And also, after you subscribe to my channel, which you should, actually real quick. See, all you gotta do is load up Google. Go over to YouTube. Tap the search bar. And then literally just go. Sky of the Man. So obviously it's not going to pop up for you guys, but type in Sky the Man 89 Gamer. It's that one right now. I am actually premiering a video as I am recording this. But go ahead, check it out. But yeah, just click there. As you can see, 95 videos, 31 subscribers. There's the vlog that I recorded just well, last night. But you can go here, and then obviously for you, it'll be like subscribe and then the bell icon. So make sure to check out these channels, but definitely may be sure to subscribe to this one and watch all the videos all the way through. That is a quick little sneak peek for you guys. But, yep. But please do, like I said, please be sure to check out my YouTube channel, subscribe to it, watch all the videos, leave a like on every video you watch, help me get to monetization. I need a lot of help with that. So like all the one hour plus videos, I need you guys to just like watch those so I can get the watch time hours up. Because I need a lot of watch time for hours just this year alone to be to be able to be eligible to become monetized. And I also need a thousand subscribers, which as you can see, I'm at 31 out of a thousand. So help me out. Smash that subscribe button. Hit the like, check out that video, which was the very first vlog I filmed. <laughs> One last look at the computer, but hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, like I said, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel. You guys are awesome. Leave a like on this video if you did enjoy, and until next time, goodbye. Yeah, 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 yeah.